Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the final installment of the ILA Student Council election event. This segment is for the treasurer position. Um, so if you are watching the video on demand or the recording of this, I recommend watching the presidential candidate video first. That's the first video we did. Um, and I kind of explained the event and uh, as well as the candidates. If you want to watch it in chronological order before the voting starts on November 16th, it uh, will be vice, it will be president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer in that order. Okay, without wasting any time, we're going to call our first candidate, uh, Matas, and we'll give him a quick call here online. And we'll get started. Hello, Mathas. How are you today? Hey, Callum. I'm doing pretty well. How about you? Perfect. I'm doing great. Thanks. Uh, so I've got you on the stream here. Uh, so starting now, you have 10 minutes, five minutes for your speech that you've prepared, and the five other minutes will be dedicated to the Q&A. Uh, your time starts now. Go ahead. Cool. Hey, everyone. My name is Mathas, but you can just call me MJ. I'm running for a treasurer's position as a first year business student. You want to ask me why am I doing this? but just let me tell you, a treasurer is basically responsible for the budget and for the reasoning of all spendings. So, before I even knew about Dosisha, I spent three years organizing events and projects. Right until November, I used to be in the organization's presidential division. Therefore, I already have some experience and would be able to share them with the other members if I got elected. The thing I value the most is creativity, and if you give me five minutes, I will come up with a solution for your problem. Now, let me tell you an example. So with our team, we were doing a project with street art, which only became visible when the surface got wet. You might know this art as never wet art. So while doing this project, we ran into a series of huge problems that we had to think solutions on the spot. One of them was the inexperienced in use of the special liquid paint. The first two times we drew something, the paint would be all over the place and the image would not even be legible. What we came up with on the spot was to just simply use chalk to go over the borders. Using it stopped the liquid paint from leaking. So every time we have the right resources, however, we don't really realize that. A bit of creative thinking may help you solve everything without spending much and using what you already have to achieve maximum efficiency. I believe that it is a crucial quality for a treasurer. However, since a treasurer is basically handling the budget, I feel obliged to get you acquainted with my previous experiences. As a former project leader, I was responsible to make sure everything, everything in our team was going smooth. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I handled the money issues and always double checked whether certain purchases was really necessary and how would it benefit the community. An example is the company's team building day, where we invited an influential speaker from a magazine, counted the spending on food, transportation and other necessary things. Which I think was really important thing here, since we did not want to spend too much money. However, we were seeking for the best result. Doing that for two and a half years helped me develop my strategies and solve money related problems fast. Now, let me speak about the ILA Students Council and the change I want to achieve. I decided to join the Students Council to continue doing creative work. And right now I'm creating posts on Instagram, sharing, uh, answering your emails, gathering information to make students' life at ILA more convenient. And we're already working on content in a new format of a podcast, plus making a private podcast for new students to get acquainted with ILA system as soon as possible. You can trust me. I am pretty active and have not bad negotiation skills, which don't hurt if you're a treasurer. The presidential division is not only doing the jobs that are assigned to do according to the constitution. Those four selected people get to know about the problems of the university first. Then they discuss them and try to come up with the best ways to approach everything. I believe that my logical reasoning skills and will to cooperate would benefit the team and help achieve even better results as I have been developing these skills for a fairly long time. For now, I want to make the budgeting system at ILA stronger by introducing a yearly budget system and I also uh, want to work on making every process at the ILA more transparent as our community still needs to improve the communication with Office of International Students and other institutions. For now, I cannot give you much information on what I am working with, but that is related with moving to Japan easier, faster and cheaper. You will hear about this in two to three weeks time, regardless of me getting elected or not. Please remember, 
that this is not a popularity contest, and you should consider voting not for your friends or the people you have taken classes with, but vote for those who are capable of handling their responsibilities and that are related to their position. Overall, fresh ideas and different mindsets in a group can help everyone to achieve the best results. I'm offering you my ideas, time, efforts to make ILE an even better place. My name is Matas, and don't forget to support your local MGs. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you, MJ, for your uh, speech there. Um, we're going to open up to the next segment uh, for five minutes. It'll be Q&A. So if you have any questions, please put them in the chat. Keep in mind, put your name uh, followed by your question, and I will ask it to MJ. We don't have any at the moment. Uh, I guess people are still typing them up. Uh, so I'll spontaneously think of one. Um, so right now we're in an online environment uh, during COVID. Uh, what will you bring to the student council and to the ILA student body as a treasurer position while we're online? So um, it's a really good question at first. Uh, thank you very much. I, I'm i still not sure whether our next semester is gonna be uh, online or in person. But if we're going to do it online, I'm thinking that maybe bringing some lecturers into into the, the everyday lives of students, like maybe handling like topics like mental health or uh, something like that, just to spend that money on something that is beneficial for all of the students and maybe organizing some kind of workshop that would bring some additional value for all of the people. Because treasurers are dealing with money, so I would like try to plan something that is good for everyone and helping everyone to deal with their problems. Yeah, that's my answer. Perfect. Okay, the next question is from Shu Han. And she asks, how do you feel to run as a first year first semester? Um, well, I'm not feeling not confident. I'm actually feeling pretty well because in the ILA Students Council, what is uh, counting, it's your efforts. You can be any year student. You can be third year student, but not do well. Well, you can be a first year student and do pretty well. That doesn't really uh, matter. Uh, your year doesn't really matter if you put enough of efforts. And you might think that as a first year student, I might not have enough experience, but I want to bring new new ideas from what I have from my past three years of, of working with projects and handling the budget and other things. So I just want to um, maybe tell other, like show, show what I did during those few years and share with my experiences and help the future treasurers and the whole ILESC community to um, create a better product for the uh, students of ILA just by sharing what I already know. Excellent. The next question comes from Akiko um, and she asks, in one word, how do you describe yourself as a leader? As a leader? Okay, that's a really, really good question. Um, I would say spontaneous, but just because um, I don't have this kind of view that my ideas are perfect and other people's ideas are not good enough. Uh, so I always listen to what other people have to say and we try to make a discussion. And sometimes I can propose an idea that uh, looks like like something else than the last project because some people bring in really good ideas and we try to work with everything we have at the same place to make everyone satisfied as much as possible. So yeah, it's really spontaneous because we sometimes start one project and the same project becomes another project just because we have thought of something even better. Okay, great. So the next question uh, comes from Kenjiro. And he asks, wow, I had my doubts, but you um, but you sound very talented. Do you believe you have a good chance to run against your current president? Yes, of course. Um, uh, I want to thank Susie for doing all the good jobs for the ILA Students Council and the first years. And I believe that she's a really professional um, person who can, could handle the treasurer's position. And I think that um, as a not rival, we're kind of friendly here in these elections. Um, so yeah, so I think that we both have uh, same qualities. We just uh, do the same work in different ways, I believe. Uh, so I don't, I don't think that voting for me or voting for Susie would really matter because both candidates are pretty experienced. Uh, Susie has more experience in ILESC while working in the presidential division. Why I have more experience working at European Union um, projects um, and doing 
uh, the same stuff, but in another format. So just choose the candidate that that looks better for you. Okay, we are running out of time here. There's still two more questions. So the next one comes uh, from Viona, and she asks: In cases of bankruptcy, which may or may not happen, um, but is better anticipated for, what would your plans for fundings uh, be um, for activities and such? Okay, so I I can assure you that bankruptcy won't happen because I have a plan to just make a budget for every few months. So. Uh, at the beginning of every three months, we would have a meeting where we would discuss, for example, there's flower festival or there are other festivals of Dosha or other things we want to do. We would plan that money ahead, thinking maybe, okay, we want to do some kind of, for example, art installation. So we would plan, for example, okay, we need 48,000, for example, yen or something like that. And uh, by by planning everything, 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 um, like step by step, we wouldn't have bankruptcy. But in case bankruptcy happens, um, there are so many ways how we can conduct, like do events online without having any resources, or just um, if we're gonna do a live event or anything like that, you can just uh, use the talents that are already inside of the ILE Students Council or just ILE community and just um, ask them to do something that would entertain other people. So not not every time we have to like buy something to create quality content or to just achieve something. Sometimes everything that we need is just people, just in case of bankruptcy. Okay, uh, with the 30 seconds we have left, the final question is from Nikki and she asks, having only been in the ILA for approximately two months online, I would like to better understand where your opinions of areas to improve on in offices, in offices such as OIS and ILA. Uh, yes, the only thing I think we should improve between the ILA Students Council, the ILA community and those two offices is I think the communication. Uh, the communication is going pretty well, but there are sometimes feels that there's not enough transparency. So I would be working more on the transparency thing, just maybe to have uh, weekly meetings, like one meeting with those two offices, just to talk about their updates, what they have for the students. Instead of receiving emails, we could have like calls, and that would, I think, mm -hmm. increase the transparency much more. So that's what I meant when I was talking about uh, OAS and ILE um, office during my speech. Okay, great. That's about a wrap on the time that we have, Matas. Thank you for your speech and for the Q&A session. And best of luck in the elections to you. Much. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on to our final candidate uh, in the event today for the treasurer position. And that's our current president, Suzu. We'll give her a call online here. Keep in mind, if you have any questions that pop up during the speech, go ahead and preemptively write those in the chat so you could send them uh, you could send them during her speech, uh, so I can chronologically scroll through the chat. Okay. Hello, Suzu. How are you today? Hi. Okay, give me one Is second to just get your... I guess I'm going to get your face on the stream here. I can't see your face, though. It's just... Dark, but, um, yeah, you can just you can only see me on the live stream, unfortunately. I OK, see. OK, so uh, starting now, you have uh, 10 minutes, five minutes for your speech that you've prepared and five minutes for the Q&A session. Go ahead. Thank you. So first and foremost, thank you all for participating in the first ever ILA Student Council election event. This is something completely new we added this year, as well as the election committee, which I would want to thank for working hard to make this all happen. So my name is Suzu and I'm currently the president of the Student Council. So some of you know that I actually ran for vice president in last year's election, but circumstances put me in a position where I had to step up and become the president despite it being my original intention. So in the past year, the Student Council has undergone a lot of change. Everybody's been talking about it in their speeches, but we've rewritten the constitution and revamped our organizational structure. We've become active on our social media platforms, namely Instagram. We created a website to feature blog posts and student voices. We've advocated for student needs, such as transparency when it comes to the tuition reductions diversity workshops, removing gender markers from student lists, normalizing the use of pronouns. And we held a COVID-19 financial aid workshop, two open meetings, and even the first ever ILA online graduation. Most of these things we did this year in the, in the spring semester alone. 
So after having seen um, and taken a small part in this change, I feel like my time in the presidential division is not up yet. I feel that I still have a lot to contribute and having fulfilled all three of my campaign promises from last year, I hope that you all have that faith in me too. So today I'd like to share with you three reasons why I'm best suited for the role of treasurer, those being communication, credibility, and continuity. So I think the most underrated part of being treasurer is probably communication. As the treasurer, one has to convincing, convincingly persuade the faculty and the university that a request for funds is legitimate. So that might be through a budget proposal, one-on-one -on -one meeting, or in front of a university committee. To do that, the treasurer must be able to communicate effectively. And as someone who is fluent in both English and Japanese, as well as able to communicate through any mode, whether it be presentation or writing, I believe I can get the student council the funds it needs to run projects for the benefit of the ILA student body. Secondly, I want to touch on credibility. So as someone who served as president, I. I like to think that I now have a level of credibility, not only among the students, but also among the faculty that I've worked with. People have seen through my actions this year that I'm genuinely interested in making the ILA a better place. Now, this kind of credibility translates into trust, which is necessary when it comes to managing something as serious as the ILA budget, which I like to tell you all is 100,000 yen. That's a huge amount of money. So all the stakeholders, members, students, professors in the university need to trust the treasurer to handle the budget in a responsible and secure way. But more than just about handling money, my credibility um, when it comes to having the best interests of the student body in mind means that you can trust me to continue fighting and speaking up for changes at the ILA. So finally, I want to talk about continuity. With the changes we made to the student council this year, the council is still kind of in this fragile state. We've built the foundation, but there's no guarantee of it lasting long term just yet, which is, I believe, it's for the benefit of the student council and the ILA for a former president to assume a supportive role rather than a leadership role, such as treasurer, to maintain continuity, to make sure that we can keep and improve upon the changes that have happened this year. It's too early to let out a breath and relax. We still have to solidify and build upon the foundation created this year. So one last night before I finish tonight, since my time is running out, I think everyone should have all the information before they vote. And here's what most people don't know about the treasurer position, is that we still don't know what the treasurer does or how they should fulfill their duties. This is because this year we have not touched a single yen of our budget due to the pandemic. We've not written a single budget proposal or expenditure report. And so whoever becomes treasurer next is gonna have to figure out all of these things by themselves. However, I believe that this year I have proven my ability to step up without guidance, to be thrust into a position with no mentor, to come into a position with no clear cut rules or guidelines. I will come into the treasurer position with the knowledge of the limits and possibilities of the student council, which can be used next year to inform my advice to the new president and vice president in matters relating to the budget. You, the ILA student body, showed your faith in me during last year's election as a first year second semester student. And I ask you to I ask you to do the same this year. Thank you for your attention and again for participating in today's event. That's the end of my speech. Okay, thank you for the speech, Suzu. Uh, we're gonna move on to a five minute segment of Q&A. So if you have any questions for Suzu, who's running as treasurer, uh, feel free to put those in the chat. Um, Pre-emphasis on putting your name followed by your question so we know who's asking the question. If you have any filler speech while people are typing those out, then uh, you can go ahead and... Uh... <laughs> I mean, we do have one now, actually. Uh, just, okay. Yeah. So uh, the first question comes from Mayumi, and um, they ask, with your cumulative experience as the current president, what new policies do you plan to implement? Okay, hi, hi, Mayu. <laughs> um, thanks for the question. Um, what policies would I implement? That's a really good question. Um, what I would say to that is that as treasurer, I don't think it's my role to have policies. Um, it's my belief that sometimes it's better not to have an opinion. So what I would say to that is, you know, we do a lot of group projects at the ILA. So imagine a group project with four individuals with ex with extreme opinions. You all know nothing gets done in that scenario, right? So I think the role of treasurer is more of a supportive one. You know, AJ and Viona have been absolutely amazing for this um, this past year. 
Um, but I would rather not have my own policy opinions, but rather give my two cents on the ones presented by the president and vice president, um, rather than, you know, push my own opinions and then paralyze the student council from doing anything at all. So that would be um, my question to that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, the next question comes from Kenjiro, and they ask, um, what do you believe to be problems that the ILA and student council uh, are facing? Ooh, okay, that's a good question. Um, I think the biggest thing is that, you know, we've worked a lot this year on stuff, the internal kind of problems in student council. So how it's organized, the constitution, how we get stuff done. Um, but there's still a lot to be done for the external uh, external connections between the student council and the student body. So, you know, we've tried to do open meetings and all this stuff like that with to kind of include the student body, but it hasn't been perfect. You know, we don't really get that much of a turnout. So I think the major problem is really connecting with the student body. I feel like we've made a foundation this year where that can happen from now on. But yeah, that that's what I think is the main issue currently. Okay, perfect. Um, there is a question in the chat, but the person did not put their name, so I don't know who is asking it. I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, how will you compromise and work with Kobe and Kai if they should win? Um, I don't think that <laughs> I don't think that would be a problem at all. The problem at all. So, um, I think the first thing we would have to do is probably meet and discuss. I mean, I've talk to Shuhan and Emerson more about their policies. So I'm kind of um, familiar, familiar with theirs, but I'm still not famili that familiar with Kobe's and Kai's. So I would have to talk to them. However, Kai is someone I've worked with since high school. So I have no um, issue with working with Kai. Kobe, I don't know that well. So obviously um, there would need to be a mutual trust built between us, but I don't think there would be a problem. I know both of them from before online classes. Yeah, I don't think there would be a problem there. Okay, perfect. We have a little under 60 seconds left. Uh, there's no more questions, uh, but if I were to spontaneously ask you one, um, you mentioned how uh, you'll you'll do some stuff with the budget um, this following semester. Um, if we are to if we were to be online, what uh, events would you introduce on behalf of the student council to the ILA student body to connect with them more? Um, okay, so I would say that. Um, Events where it's just a bunch of people sitting on a Zoom call have not worked in the past. We figured that out. So there needs to be a more interactive kind of aspect to it. Um, recently, I've been playing Among Us with some of the ILA people. That's been, I mean, awesome. I love that. If we could do that on a greater scale, that would be so fun. Um, something like that, that um, it's not just people sitting around chatting, which is awkward. <laughs> Honestly, like as the president, it was really awkward to try to... Um, stir up discussion in that situation so something more interactive like that maybe a quiz night game night i don't know we'd have to see what the people are interested in okay that's about uh, time all the time we have for you suzu thank you for the speech and for the q a session and best thank of luck in the elections awesome thank you Okay, so that wraps up our election event for today. Um, you've had a chance to take a look at all of the different candidates for all, across all the different positions. If you couldn't make all of the live streams, don't worry. I will be posting the video on demand to the ILA Student Council Instagram account in chronological order. That's President, VP, Vice President, Secretary, and then Treasurer. I recommend watching it in order. In the very first one, the presidential... Um, video i kind of talk in the beginning about the whole process of the election so voting will open on november 16th and on behalf of the student council and the election committee this was a group effort um i'm just the moderator everybody worked hard to make this happen today and we hope we can make it even better for the next election event um finally if you want to know a bit more about uh the, the positions and what they do there is a post on that on the election page Thank you, everybody, for turning out. It was a really, really successful event, and uh, we'll catch you all on the flip side. Uh, for those who are in Japan, have a good night. If you're joining from abroad, good morning or good afternoon. And uh, thank you. Take care.